an unexpected Idaho. We're always trying to find the most unusual and fun things that people are doing in Idaho. And this is one of them. The Idaho Free Trappers and Muzzleloader Club every year has a rendezvous out just outside of Cascade and they put on quite the event. There's muzzle loading competitions going on. There's a hawk throwing or tomahawk throwing competition as well as a knife throwing. And there's fun activities at night and all weekend long. So if you ever get a chance to come out to the event, by all means do so. It's a great time. The rendezvous works uh, for prizing as a, a blanket shoot. Everybody brings a blanket prize and everybody gets a prize when they go home. So oftentimes they'll bring something traditional like a nice belt knife or sometimes it'll be a throwing knife like this. This one's a good throwing knife. A good well-balanced knife. And so if you're starting out and you're looking for outfit in yourself, if you're a good shooter, you get your you get choice pick. So top shooter gets to pick first and then you work your way down to the poorest shooter. Those that need a little bit more practice. So you can outfit you can outfit your entire camp by competing. So you can pick up candle lanterns good old candle lantern. So on primitive side of this camp, there should be nothing modern seen. If you're following the rules, everything should follow pre-1840 standards. So you shouldn't be seeing pop cans and all of that. So this year we actually have some nice wooden chairs like this that'll be our first place man and first place woman prizes. That there was a hit. Is. Dang, it does happen. Is your pistol loaded? Yes, sir. Oh, are you going to do it? Yep. Here, I'll hold your rifle. Thanks, Jerry. sequence with loading a muzzle loader is powder, patch, and ball. So first of all we'll load the powder in a pre-measured spout made out of an antler powder. Tap the barrel a little bit make sure it goes down inside. Secondly you get out a patch and a round ball. These are cotton patches that are specifically cut for the diameter that you need for the caliber of rifle. This rifle is 50 caliber. <clears throat> it shoots a 490 round ball. Otherwise the barrel, the, the bore on this is .500. The round ball is .490. The patch is 10,000, so that's 20,000. So that makes it a tight fit when you put the ball down inside the barrel. Now we use a short starter to press the ball up there and then a short starter on top to get that ball down to here. And what that does is so you, when you're reloading, <clears throat> getting the load finished, you aren't up here at the top trying to wiggle that. That's where the ball is sitting right down there. And you ran it home. 
everyone that I know has marks on their ramrod to know exactly where the ramrod is. There's where mine is marked for this caliber. That means if the ball is seated properly. You want to take that whole plane and then shoot it off? This is a flint lock. So right now I'm going to put a piece of pen in here just as to open up that powder chamber. <clears throat> Use this little powder horn here with 4F. 4F is real fine powder. Take that out, put the 4F powder in the pan. It's about empty too. I think there's enough there. Now this rifle is not ready to fire. It's on safe, if you will. I cock it. It's ready to fire. I have two triggers. The back trigger is a set trigger. <clears throat> if I pull this back trigger, that makes the front trigger a hair trigger. If I'm hunting with this rifle, I do not want to use a hair trigger. I want to use a hard trigger pull. But this is target practice, so I want to use a sharp, quick firing pin. Damn, now wouldn't you notice that? I hit that sucker now. <laughs> I have that on record. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Damn, can I have that on my point? <laughs> that was awesome. God. <laughs> Two for two. Nice. That's a nice rifle. And you hit it again. Yeah. You are a natural, my friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. Unexpected Idaho. Don't be surprised if you end up with a black powder rifle or a, a pistol in your hand. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks, Skeeter. Get out of here. Hamburger on fry bread at Buffalo Lodge and Trading and Restaurant. Hey, Wynn. Did anybody tell you about Kiwi activities? Uh, they told me that Unexpected uh, item. Got a <laughs> it's good, huh? <laughs> it's a heart attack waiting, but boy, is it good.